Hi, you might be here because you're a fan of the Dungeons and Dragons crew known as the Oxventurers Guild, for which I, Johnny Chiodini, am the harried childminder, aka Dungeon Master, aka literally everyone else in the world. You, I just gonna just gonna drop the mask for a second here. You have never derailed me that hard <laughs> <laughs> for that long. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> or you might be here because you're friends with an Oxventure fan who's trying to get you to watch it too, in which case, I'm sorry, but you're one of us now and you're not allowed to leave. Since you are here though, we may as well start by introducing you to the five members of the Oxventurers Guild, then you can jump into the next season of Oxventure D&D armed with all the knowledge you need to make sense of the chaos. Ready? Right. Let's start with the Bard. Dob the half-orc bard never knew his parents, and when he fell ill as a baby, his sister Suzette went out looking for medicine and never returned. But after years of searching, Dob reunited with her. Hooray! Um, Dob, what does your sister look like? <gasps> Dob carries Ethelfrith's hammer, a cursed weapon with the power to summon 60 skeletons who will do the bearer's bidding, but exact a heavy price for doing so. An accomplished bard, Dob favours lulling enemies to sleep or, failing that, spectacular acrobatic combat. He's terrible with money, most notoriously dropping all of the guild's hard-earned gold into a lake for supposed safekeeping. He's an incurable optimist, especially when it comes to people, which might explain how he can have a weird crush on the crew's provably evil nemesis Liliana, the sinister sorceress. Wood Elf Druid Merylwen has always preferred animals to people. Speak with animals is one of her most cast spells. If there is an option to talk to and or befriend a beast, she will take it. You will often find this animal-loving, shape-shifting druid in the form of a brown bear, giant octopus, or a wild cat. Her wildcat form is in memory of her former feline friend Simon, whom she found and rescued years ago while out hunting. Marilwen has been around longer than any other member of the guild, being over a hundred years old, but is only just discovering her true potential as a druid in the Circle of the Moon. She's armed with a bow, but prefers spellcasting. She's had some great, gruesome results with spike growth, for instance. If you ever get the chance, ask her about the Merrill Wen's meat grinder incident. They're probably still cleaning it up. <laughs> he just runs and you see him stop and go like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just falls straight onto his face, dead. No! <laughs> oh, one down. Oh. I'm starting to feel bad about this. Oh, Merrill Wen. A little bit. Dashing human pirate rogue Corazon de Baena grew up as posh lad Percival Milktoast, heir to the Milktoast estate, but he left it all behind, partly for adventure on the high seas, partly to spite his terrible, terrible dad. Wait, you are a pirate though, you say? Yes! But and that's you what don't I tried to kill. Whole... Well, I remember trying to kill you because I thought you were a disappointment. Corazon is on a long-term quest to save the former crew of his ship, the Joyful Damnation, from a curse that he is, at least partially, responsible for. In the short term, the Joyful Damnation has become the Oxventurer's preferred mode of transportation. Corazon likes to avoid getting his hands dirty, preferring to use his words to get around trouble. If things do come down to a fight, he likes to play it stealthy, hiding or darting in to take on foes one-on-one -on -one like a true swashbuckler. And if that fails, he can always fall back on the old classic, Grease, the world's best spell, according to him, and only him. Dragonborn Paladin Egbert is searching for atonement after getting kicked out of the noble order of Le Dragon d'Or for reasons he has never disclosed to the party. However, he doesn't seem to be getting any closer to absolving his sins as he travels with the Oxventurers who, despite their best efforts, always tend to leave disaster in their wake. Egbert's current deity is Lavash Mauve, who Egbert would be only too happy to give you a pamphlet about should you be interested, or not. 
The sun basically <laughs> rotated and there's a cow's face on it. Um, like Teletubbies. Yeah, a bit like Teletubbies. <laughs> like the song of the tale of the t Teletubbies. Guys, it is way too early for this. <laughs> Despite being a paladin, Egbert usually eschews magic in favour of doing whatever nonsense pops into his big, scaly head. He's always accompanied by his trusty companion, Seal Gaiman, who is a museum curator trapped in the body of a returned seal. It made sense at the time. The least ethical of the Oxventure crew, Prudence is a grumpy tiefling warlock. Get on the wrong side of her and you'll get a face full of Eldritch Blast. Cthulhu is Prudence's chosen patron and stand-in father figure, and she does the great old one proud by waking up and choosing violence every single day. That's what's going on. What else is going on is you kill two of my I friends. I kill the second goblin. <laughs> <laughs> you kill the second goblin? I kill the second goblin to show the first goblin. <laughs> when she's not doing a murder, Prudence enjoys a good book. Well, not a good book, an evil book. And she's got two with her at all times in the monstrous forms of her beloved book babies, Frisky and The Darkness. She delights in anything creepy, gory and or openly evil, but has a soft spot for her fellow Oxventurers, who are the only people this former hermit has any patience for. Either that or she hasn't found space in her busy murdering schedule to murder them yet. So those are the brave-ish heroes of Oxventure, and now you know everything you need to join us for the new season of Oxventure D&D, starting soon. As the season begins, the crew has awakened a mysterious demonic orb, which reveals itself to be an arcane puzzle box with potentially world-ending power. What will happen next? To find out, come watch the Orb Apocalypse saga unfold every week on Outside Xbox. Subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and thank your friend for getting you into your new favourite D&D collective. But most importantly, thank you for watching. <laughs>